Coach Corey Martin here, and today we are going to look at the release speed and launch angle of the pitch. Uh, release speed is going to be listed right over here on the left side of the screen. This is the speed or the velocity of this pitch out of the hand. So this one was 79.9, this one's 78.8, this one's 81.3. Let's go back to the first one here, and now let's look at the launch angle. That's going to be shown right here in the middle of the screen. And this one's zero degrees, meaning that it is perfectly parallel with the ground out of the hand. Now, it's very important to understand this pitcher has a lower arm slot. And because of his lower arm slot, he's more likely to have uh, a lower launch angle out of the hand. Uh, lower as in closer to zero. Let me specify that. So this is a lower arm slot pitcher. When he throws one in the strike zone, it's going to be around zero degrees out of the hand. Here's another pitch into the strike zone, zero degrees. On that, on that launch angle out of the hand. Now this pitch, I'm gonna show you this one because this one's plus two degrees, but let's look at the location of the pitch up in the zone. So see how the pitch misses up? Therefore, that's gonna be a little bit higher of a launch angle out of the hand. Now let's look at an over the, arm, over the top pitcher that's closer to one o'clock with his delivery, and let's look at how that launch angle is gonna vary here because uh, there is a noticeable difference that you need to understand. Uh, this pitcher has a higher arm slot, and here's some of his pitches from his bullpen. Here's 82.2 miles per hour, speed out of the hand, and he's much more over the top, closer to 1 o'clock on that release. So hit this, this release angle, launch angle, is minus 4 degrees, and if I play it here, you can see it's definitely moving down at a downward angle out of the hand. This is also in the strike zone. Lower in the strike zone, I should say, whereas this one's minus 2 degrees, Let's see where this pitch ends up. It's a little bit higher, and this one's 86.5, minus one degrees, and this is even higher in the strike zone. So understanding arm slot's gonna have an, a, a big influence on that launch angle out of the hand. Over the top, it's gonna, you're gonna see negative numbers more than likely on that launch angle. Whereas if I go back to my pitcher who is almost coming from three o'clock, let's see, that was Carter. We look at Carter's pitches, and while I'm, I'm glad I, I thought about this, off-speed pitches are gonna you're gonna see a difference too. So Carter lower arm slot. If I stop this thing at release, you'll see much lower. Therefore, he's more than likely gonna have a zero uh, launch angle out of the hand. But let's look at a slider. Here's a slider. Here's a slider. Plus five. Okay, because this pitch is gonna break. It's gonna drop at the end. So it's actually got a plus five. You can see it kind of lifting up out of the hand there. So out of the hand, it's going to have a plus five degree launch angle. So because it's moving slightly upward out of the hand, that's why that's plus five. So that's also very important to understand. Hopefully that helps make some sense of this. Uh, Coach Corey Martin, I'll catch you next time.